I am a robot guy. As a kid, I was very excited about robots. I did them all. Lego robots, aircraft model, you name it. So sending a robot to the moon is my ultimate challenge. But until today, only two superpowers have soft landed on the moon, the United States and the Soviet Union. So I think it's about time for a change. I'm co-founder of Team Space IL, the only not-for-profit team competing in the Google Lunar X Prize. Our spacecraft is not as big as the ones from the past. It's pretty small. Here's a prototype. We call it IT. IT has been built by a community of over 140 volunteers, and it costs less than 1% of the Apollo mission budget. Space IL's secret ingredient is ingenuity. Ingenuity, if we are to build it using current space travel technology, it would cost 10 times more and it will be 10 times bigger. So instead, we're using commercial off-the-shelf technology. Our first ever rocket experiment was designed to test the most difficult part of the mission, the landing sensors. Um, we were very excited because as you know, this was, this was done in Israel. As you know, Israel has a small problem with rockets. So we got to get an approval for this to launch. So we were very excited that the government allowed us to launch this. But I would like to share with you uh, about what's going on in the inside of the spacecraft. Um, the way you usually land on the moon, if there's such a thing as usually land on the moon, is by using a bulky radar, which is too difficult for it to carry. I mean, look at it. It's too small. So instead, we invented an algorithm, a visual algorithm, that actually uses my iPhone camera to determine its velocity and find possible landing sites. This is the algorithm on its work. The green dot is actually that it tracks the ground to see uh, where is it's going, and it will soon soft land on, on there. And we actually tested it. And as you can see, since my phone is still with me, it worked, right? Ingenuity is also the way we think. Well, one of the rules of the competition is to travel 500 meters on the surface of the moon. But as you can see, it has no wheels. We were inspired by another famous moon lander, and that's an astronaut hopping on the moon. And this is actually a hopper, right? So the basic idea is, and I have a small model here to demonstrate, is once you land on the moon, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You just reignite the main engine, lift off, hop, and you land again. And yes, we are not for profit. This means that we will donate the entire $20 million prize money for promoting science and education. We're doing this to inspire today's kids and grown-ups to dream of not only being rock stars and celebrities, but also rocket scientists and engineers. As you can see, we're already giving talks to, to kids and also some grown-ups and, and ex get them excited all about being space. You know, and I, I got a, a kid that says, you know, I don't want to be a rock star anymore. I'm going to go, go for space, so it's, it's working. As a final note, I would say that it would carry a small flash drive when it landed in 2015 um, to the moon. So I invite you all to come up here, take your picture with it, and post it on our Facebook page. We will take your picture to the moon with us, but you might want to hurry up because space is limited. Thank you. <laughs> I, and please, there, there are a few of those models, so you might as well take them home. Thank you very much again, and you will also have to come up here.